You may think Luke Skywalker's fictitious home planet of Tatooine with two suns was strange. But no astronomers have discovered a planet with three suns 340 light years from Earth that they say is unlike any other known world. There, you would either experience constant daylight or enjoy triple sunrises and sunsets each day, depending on the seasons, which last longer than human lifetimes. The planet, called HD 131399 AB, was discovered by a team led by the University of Arizona in Tucson. It has by far the widest known orbit within a multi-star system and is located in the constellation Centaurus, according to the study published in the journal Science. HD 131399 AB is believed to be about 16 million years old, making it one of the youngest exoplanets discovered to date and one of very few directly imaged planets. With a temperature of 850 Kelvin and weighing in at an estimated 4 Jupiter masses, it is also one of the coldest and least massive directly imaged exoplanets. HD 131399AB is one of the few exoplanets that have been directly imaged, and it's the first one in such an interesting dynamical configuration, said Daniel Alpai, an assistant professor of astronomy and planetary sciences who leads a research group dedicated to finding and observing exoplanets at the university. Kevin Wagner, a first-year PhD student and the paper's first author, explained, for about half of the planet's orbit, which lasts 550 Earth years, three stars are visible in the sky, the fainter two always much closer together, and changing in apparent separation from the brightest star throughout the year. For much of the planet's year the stars appear close together, giving it a familiar night side and day side with a unique triple sunset and sunrise each day. As the planet orbits and the stars grow further apart each day, they reach a point where the setting of one coincides with the rising of the other, at which point the planet is in near constant daytime for about one quarter of its orbit, or roughly 140 Earth years. Mr. Wagner identified the planet among hundreds of candidate planets and led the follow-up observations to make the discovery. It's the first exoplanet to be discovered with Sphere, one of the world's most advanced instruments dedicated to finding planets around other stars. SPHERE stands for Spectropolarimetric High Contrast Exoplanet Research Instrument and is sensitive to infrared light, making it capable of detecting the heat signatures of young planets, along with sophisticated features correcting for atmospheric disturbances and blocking out the otherwise blinding light of their host stars. It's part of the very large telescope operated by the European Southern Observatory on Cerro Peril in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. The astronomers said repeated and long-term observations will be needed to precisely determine the planet's trajectory among its host stars. But observations and simulations seem to suggest there's a star estimated to be 80% more massive than the Sun and dubbed HD 131399A at the center of the system. It's orbited by the two remaining stars, B and C, at about 300 astronomical units or 300 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Stars B and C twirl around each other like a spinning dumbbell, separated by a distance roughly equal to that between our Sun and Saturn, according to the researchers. In this scenario, planet HD 131399 travels around the central star, A, in an orbit about twice as large as Pluto's if compared to our solar system. Professor Alpai said, if the planet was further away from the most massive star in the system, it would be kicked out of the system. Our computer simulations showed that this type of orbit can be stable, but if you change things around just a little bit, it can become unstable very quickly. It follows the discovery of the biggest planet ever seen orbiting two stars last month. A group of researchers from San Diego State University used the Kepler Space Telescope to identify the new planet, which has been named Kepler 1647b. The planet is 3,700 light-years away and approximately 4.4 billion years old, around the same age as the Earth. Scientists believe it has one of the longest orbits recorded for a transiting planet. One of the best ways we can expand our understanding of the universe is by studying extreme cases, and this is extreme in two important respects. It has the longest period and is the largest transiting circumbinary planet, Dr. Jason Eastman, physicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, who was not involved in the study.